it seems like in our culture today, people have less relationships maybe than they did in the past. People have less close friends and people are more isolated from each other. And yet the Bible talks about how relationships are a value. And so I'm not sure that people in our congregations and our lives really know how to make friends. Maybe we want friends or we're searching for more friends on Facebook. But face to face, can you help us understand a little bit more about how to make a friend, how to find those meaningful relationships in life? Where would we start? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, this is a, a great topic for me personally because I always feel like, you know, I wish I had more friends, more people in my life. Um, but then how do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, the first thing for me that helps me is um, I try to remember that just how beneficial, how mm -hmm. good it is uh, to be in relationship with other people. I always think back to the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis mm -hmm. where, you know, Ad God created Adam and he placed him in this beautiful garden. He had everything he could ever want. He was living in paradise with mm -hmm. God. And yet God said, it's not good for the man to be alone. So he says, look, relationship is, is right. critical. It's important. So uh, that helps me rem remember, you know, how good they are. And then I, I always try to remember that relationships are actually a gift from God. He gave Eve to Adam. And so he gives us okay. this gift of relationships. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. And that makes me think of Ecclesiastes where it says two are better than one. And it gives a number of reasons why mm -hmm. it's beneficial to be in relationship with other people. Right. So that's really helpful. So then how can we, you know, really... What are some steps we can take? What are some practical ways that we can go beyond just wanting that? We recognize the value of it, then how do I actually learn how to make a friend? Okay, well, I, like I said, relationships are a gift from God. So I use that word gift as an acronym to help me grow and, and start and really uh, thrive in my relationships. Okay, so you got a G, an I, an F, and a T. So we got four things, right? Right. Well, tell us about the G. Okay, so the G in gift it stands for to, to greet someone. Okay. To greet someone. Okay. So, you know, just to start a relationship, the easiest way to start a relationship is to, just to say hi, to say hello to someone. Um, you know, that could be someone you you just run into at the store. It could be your coworkers. Mm -hmm. It could be your neighbors. A lot of times we just choose to keep our heads down. And we, never, we never take that opportunity to start a relationship. That's a great point. So we're just, we're, we don't make eye contact maybe, or we just want to stay in our world or, yeah, but, but every relationship starts ultimately with some kind of an initial connection. Right. That, that makes a lot of sense. So just right. to greet, do you have any, any tips about like how to do that? Because I feel a little threatened sometimes to say, if, if I greet somebody, it's like, hi, how are you? Fine. Well, then what? Right. Right. So uh, greeting and small talk tend to go okay. hand in hand. So I try to use uh, context. You know, if I'm approaching my neighbor, I could say, hey, you know, your garden's looking great this year or, you know, how's mm -hmm. the car running or whatever. If I'm, I'm in work, I could, I could ask an associate about a project or whatever. Mm -hmm. So try to use context. That really helps me. And, and, you know, have small talk is an art and have something maybe in mind that you want to talk That's about. That's helpful. Yeah. So you got a couple of questions that are easy to go to questions like, where are you from, or what do you do, or what do you like? It's just some simple things that are non-threatening to people that people I, I've noticed kind of like to talk about themselves. So if I give them the right question, uh, the right small talk, that can really draw them out. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So I, I've made this greeting, and we've started to connect, and we're uh, like finding out about each other. Uh, then what? What comes next? What's the I? Well, the progression would be to invite someone. Okay. And I think anybody, if you're ever seeking romantic <laughs> interest, you know that. You're going to invite them to something. And so uh, if you really want to grow a relationship, invite them to something that uh, you think is going to interest them. So, you know, if they're interested in sports, you could go to a sporting event. Mm -hmm. If they like food, you could say, hey, why don't you come have lunch with me? Or okay. uh, if you have no idea, just invite them over to your, to your house and say, we want to have you over for dinner or play some games or whatever. But... Inviting to an event is really going to be the next step of getting to know someone. Okay, so that implies that there's some intentionality, right? In other words, it, I think there's a myth that it's just going to happen and we'll suddenly be best friends, but I have to have some purpose. I have to have some, maybe a little bit of a plan. Right. And I would say uh, you definitely should have specifics in mind. We all mm -hmm. say, you know, we should really get together sometime. Sometime, yeah. And it just never happens. And so I would say if you're going to invite somebody to something, have a, have a place and a, and a time in mind mm -hmm. uh, and, and invite. And one thing I would also say is don't get discouraged. 
everybody's busy, everybody's schedules are you know, all over the place. And so if they can't make it, no big deal. Just say, hey, I just wanted to extend the invitation and then you can try again uh, some other time. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't ever want to be my friend. Right, maybe they just can't make it that night. Right, or right. Maybe don't, they don't want to go to the soccer game or whatever. But you could do something else. Right, right. Try not to take rejection personal. Okay. You know, there could be any number of things. Lots of lots of things at play. Okay, well that brings us to the F. Then what does the F stand for? F is for follow up. So we're building this relationship. We we greeted. We've been to a few things, and so now it's we're in the follow up stage. Mm -hmm. And follow-up is just simply checking in on them, making sure that that relationship continues to grow. Uh, relationships, I think, are like all living things where if we just neglect it, it's going to eventually stall. It's, gonna, it's not going to thrive anymore, and, and it could die from continued neglect. So okay. follow-up, follow-up. That makes sense. So like, how, what, are, what, are, what are some easy ways to actually do follow-up with someone? For me, it's all about my phone. Okay. It's all about my cell phone. So a follow-up for me could just be a text, you know, uh, hey, just thinking about you. I like to think, you know, where did we leave the conversation last? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they had a, a big decision coming up or maybe there was something, uh, a, a, an event coming up for them or something they're, that they're struggling with, where do we leave the conversation last? And I'll just ask them, hey, how's it going with that thing? Um, you can use the phone also to call them. Sure. Um, I'll use my phone. I'll set up a reminder in my calendar to, mm -hmm. you know, every every month or so. I just want to check in and see how things yeah, are going. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. Um, some of us have to be a little more structured about it because of our personalities. So that's a really good tip. Yep. So then, then where does that take us? Then what does T stand for? So T is is for thanking someone. I think we. This is something mm -hmm. that it's easy for us to forget to do, especially with people that we're close to. Uh, but it's really going to help grow your relationship. Uh, it's, I, th I think of thanking as, as the win-win. You win and they win. Uh, they're going to feel so appreciated. They're going to feel this sense of closeness to you. But then also that helps you win by having this, this sense of contentment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very hard to be unhappy and grateful at the same okay, time. Yeah. So, yeah. so thank people. That, that, that sounds way. good. That sounds good. And so, you know, um, this sounds pretty straightforward, but I know relationships, you know, don't always go in a straight line and, and can sometimes be more complicated than this. So, so help us to, you know, understand, you know, maybe some of the dynamics that might come into play and what happens if the straight line, it doesn't work out one, two, three, four. Right, right. Uh, relationships are, are, like you said, are dynamic. We, and people are people. We're all, we're all fallible, we're not perfect, and so um, some of us will go, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and I'm going to greet someone and invite them, and it's just not going to go the way we want, and, and don't get frustrated with that. You know, people are, are people, and so give them a, a measure of grace, just mm -hmm. like God gives us grace. We should give each other grace, and uh, stick with it, stick with it, and um, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so let's close with just one practical application what's one practical next step that our that our viewers can do to help start putting this into practice I think the easiest next step is just pick one of those letters pick pick G I F go greet someone just say mm -hmm. I'm gonna greet someone tomorrow and that can be a great start and you say that that wasn't so bad I can go from there so just pick one of those things and and write a name down or or set a time in a day and say I'm gonna do one of these things to grow my relationships. Okay, great. That's very practical. So I, I hope that helps you uh, to become better at making friends. It is a value, and here's some practical tips. And so uh, thanks for watching, and we're sure that, that this is going to really increase your quality of life and, and what God can do in and through you.